Namaskar. Today's pose is often referred to as the king of asanas. In Sanskrit, it is called Sarvang Asana or shoulder stance. In Russian, it is called the birch tree. But the proper name is candle pose. It has many benefits, but you should also take extra caution before practicing it. For those who cannot perform the classical variant of this dance, called the Viparati Karani Mudra. See which option suits you best and begin practicing. Lie down on your back, bending your knees, and press your shoulders down against the floor. On the inhale, bring your knees to your chest and lift up your pelvis, while ensuring support with your shoulders. Bring your elbows closer to each other. Curve your shoulders and bring your body to your chin. Your knees should be kept straight. Your toes should be outstretched, but the feet should be fairly relaxed. You should hold this asana from 30 seconds up to 3 or even 5 minutes. You need to do 5 cycles. This asana strengthens our whole body. It stimulates the secretion of our inner glands, strengthens our nervous system, cultivates our muscular coordination, strengthens all of our chakras, and prevents deficits of calcium, iron, and iodine. It remedies conditions such as asthma, pneumonia, tonsillitis, angina, infertility, impotency, and menstrual disorder. neutral displacement, anemia, kidney-related problems, hemorrhoids, ulcers, diabetes, arthritis, and gout. But this asana also has contraindications. They are related to the neck and spine. Be careful and consult your doctor. These are the menstrual period, pregnancy period that is over three months, and high blood pressure. People over 60 should refrain from performing it, as should people suffering from thyroid-related gland issues. We leave this asana with a slow roll on the exhale, one vertebra at a time. You can rest with crossed legs or with your bent legs close to your chest. The second variation is the Viparita Karani Mudra. Lie down on your back, knees to your chest, and press down against the floor with your hands. On the inhale, lift up your pelvis, take your feet behind your head, touching the floor with your toes. Clench your palms into a walk and lie them down on the floor. Stretch your spine from your tailbone up. Elongate your neck. Try to keep your knees straight. Do not bend them or hold them up in the air. If you perform this asana for, say, one minute, then do the Matsya Mudra or the Matsya Asana for half of that duration to compensate. While in this asana, relax your stomach and chest. Also, allow your internal organs to move freely while performing this asana. On the way back to the neutral position, lower your body, exhale, and relax one vertebra after another. The second compensation variant is one that you can do up against the wall. Here we find the wall, then push our feet up against it, or rest our toes on the chair. In this variation, we create an anchor with our feet and stretch out our knees. We perform the same five cycles for this asana, following it up each time with the Matsya Mudra. We perform the Sarvang asana for 30 seconds to 5 minutes for three cycles. Then we perform our compensation after each asana the Matsya Mudra or the Matsya Asana. You can look those up in a different video.